Uh, Assalamu alaikum everybody, this is Ifra John from National Conference. It is with grave urgency that I'm addressing all of you today. So as we all know, Lok Sabha elections are currently uh, in process and people are voting and first and second phase of elections have already been over. But now tomorrow, as Kashmir, Central Kashmir goes for voting, we've been receiving reports since yesterday of dozens of our workers who've been arrested, who've been detained, who are getting called to police stations. And we also have received details where police is on a hunt for our workers. In one of the constituencies, we have reports that 27 of our workers have been detained. We have more names of the workers I can read. We have more names of the workers that I can read. Um, of course, we are writing to the of course, we are writing to the Election Commission of India, giving names of all these workers. Other workers in other areas are getting calls from their respective stations saying that you have to report within 15 minutes. Um, some areas in Khanmu, for example, in Khanmu area, the workers are getting calls and they're getting told that if you are an election agent, polling agent, you have to report to the station within 15 minutes. Please tell me, for heaven's sake, why do you have to conduct an election? I would like to ask the Election Commission of India, why conduct an election? Just say, ki, I mean, all you have to say is that you proxy B team, C team, proxy parties are winning. And that's all you have to do. If you are not allowing one political party to work, if you're not allowed, if you're en masse detaining, arresting workers of political party, if you're scaring everybody, if you're causing panic in voters and workers only of one opposition uh, political party, why do you have to conduct an election? Just say we decided not to conduct an election and we've decided the proxy parties of the BJP are winning. It's an absolute shame for those who are doing it. It's an absolute shame for the administration. It's an absolute shame on the part of the BJP government that says that they are um, committed to free and fair election. It's an absolute shame on the part of ECI because we've been constantly tagging the ECI and it's not doing anything. It's an absolute shame 